Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to the Terror in the Isles Challenge. Now, this is the segment that both Joe the Horror Man and myself are doing, where we're going to examine films from both the TV cut and the theatrical cut of Terror in the Isles, one of our favorite films. Today, we're going to be talking about Poltergeist. Poltergeist is a 1982 film, which runs approximately 114 minutes, and is directed by Toby Hooper. Now, he passed away on August 26, 2017, at the age of 74. He was responsible for The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Spontaneous Combustion, and Crocodile. Now, this stars Joe Beth Williams as Diane Freeling. She was in The Big Chill, Teachers, and Kramer vs. Kramer. Heather O'Rourke as Carol Ann. She passed away on February 1st, 1988, at the age of 12. Very sad. She was in Poltergeist 2 and 3, and a bunch of television. And Craig T. Nelson as Steve Freeling. He was in Book Club, All Over Again, and Private Benjamin. Now, the budget on this film was $10 million, and this had a worldwide gross of $77 million. That's pretty amazing. And apparently the word poltergeist is German for noisy ghost. Ah, poltergeist. Um, very simple synopsis to this one. Craig T. Nelson works for this construction company who are building cookie-cutter neighborhoods with cookie-cutter houses. And him and his family are living in a house in one of those cookie-cutter neighborhoods. And strange things start happening in the house that is related to the land that they built on. That's about as far as I'm going to go with it. It's a fairly simple plot, and I'm pretty sure most people have seen it by now. Uh, now, this is not one of my favorite Toby Hooper films. I do like it, and I do think there is... Some things in it that are that are brilliant. Uh, the clown part, which everyone talks about, that is nightmare fuel right there. There's a few things where the one of the guys who is trying to help them uh, get rid of the poltergeist looks into the mirror in the bathroom. That's pretty crazy right there. I like the acting. I like the cast of characters in this film. The mom and dad. Uh, some of the things I didn't particularly care for is that this movie is too long, in my opinion. About mm, 20 minutes too long, in fact. I think they could have cut it down, and it would have been better paced. But that's just my opinion, of course. People love this film. It's just not one of my favorite by him. But I do like it. One of the things that bothered me, and I know that Joe and I were both talking about this when we watched the film is that the mother and father, I love the family dynamic. You have the mother and father, uh, two sisters and a brother. One sister is older, then you have the brother, then you have Carol Ann. And I like the dynamic in the family. However, the part where the parents are smoking pot, it just bothered me. It's bothered me ever since I was a little kid. It's one of those things where I understand it, and I'm not against... Believe me, I'm not against drugs or smoking pot or whatever. You do what you do, that's what you do, that's, you know, that's your business. That doesn't bother me. But you're supposed to feel safety with your parents. And I don't believe that that kind of shows that in the family dynamic. I think it's great up until that part. I just didn't think it was necessary. Now, one of the other things that, that I'm not as fond of about Poltergeist is that the fact that I think less is more sometimes. And I think they didn't really have to show everything that they showed, if that makes any sense. It kind of gets, as, as I put it in some of the other films that I've reviewed, a little too fantastical towards the end. It is a fun watch. It's just not one that I revisit very often. Now, <laughs> my relatable recommendation for Poltergeist is going to be Poltergeist 2. I actually like this one a little bit better, 
And to be honest, I like the third one better than the first two. Um, Poltergeist 2 is a pretty decent film. I like the old man that they put in there. He adds a lot of flavor to the film. And it just seems like it's a little bit better paced to me. Um, I do like this series, but it's just not one of my favorites, to be honest. So, yeah. Don't forget to check out Joe's review and see what he picked as a recommendation. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.